Okay, this is Fable here. This is gonna be a short one because I'm headed back to the office after Whole Foods, Kohl's, Pharmacy, Bank, Jewelers, UPS, Post Office, and back to Kohl's because I thought one of them that I had was for UPS and it was actually for Kohl's. So now I'm headed back to work. And I left at 1130 and it is now 206. Well, probably like by the time I got in the car and loaded everything, it was probably about 20 of quarter of 12. Oh, also put air on my tire because I have a slow leak in my tire. Same tire all the time. So I don't know. It's annoying. But I didn't take off today for Hershey. The rest of my family did. My whole family's been there. They left at 6 30, 7 o'clock this morning. But it's way too hot and they're not going to be staying there long. So I'm glad. I didn't take off today and my niece and her fiance are going to get there around 10 o'clock tonight so I don't know if we'll see them but I did my Starbucks two pumps get ready because Monday's one pump and I did ask for extremely light ice now that's still how much light ice is left after it melting so wasn't extremely light I said extra milk extra light ice Nope, didn't happen. Ugh. I started tipping them a dollar each time. Maybe they'll remember me and be nice. Why I was out and about, I did see my the nurse that took care of my mother from January all the way to March um, until she died. Great guy, Gary. He fabulous so nice and he put up with my mother who was like you know a woman has to I guess be the woman which I don't get that anymore and first of all if you're a nurse you need to be professional and you know it's so old school like I think anyway that's my opinion because not all men are interested in women not all women are interested in men so, I think that's so outdated. Although, the way my mother carried on, Gary was, I'm sure, glad to pass her off. Although, he was really, he, he was so fabulous with my mom. So attentive. He knew she was, you know, dying and let us stay, you know, we're always there. Like, not, not just him, the whole staff up there really was fabulous where she was. And, um, but she would say to Gary, you know, he's like, oh, so-and-so is going to come in and give you a bath and a sponge bath and get you washed up and changed. And he's like, she's like, no, I want you, Gary. So right to the end, my mother was frisky is the word, I guess. So that was just, that was my mom loved her dearly miss her every day oh god i'm gonna cry um she would call all the time back when you had answering machines she would say uh put leave a message you knew when you walked in my mother called it was hi terry give me a call nothing earth shattering that what we all got that message and my mother was funny because Sometimes she'd call and say, oh, give me a call as soon as you get in. It's important. And it really wasn't. When Usually when it's, oh, hi, just give me a call when you get a chance. Nothing is shattering. It was usually, you know, not good news. So, that is, like, and if you told my mom, mom. I'm going to tell you something. 
don't tell anyone. Again, loved her dearly with all my heart. And she would say, oh, okay. And then when I would, uh, yeah, mommy told me. <laughs> if you told her something, one time I told her and I figured, oh, she's going to tell everybody anyway. So I, I don't care. She told no one. So we figured out the key. Tell her, don't tell anyone. And word would spread. If you and if you just told her and didn't say, you know, I, I think she felt like, oh, you know, I want to share this with somebody. And she would tell usually one of my sisters or brothers and, or my brother down there or, you know, my sister-in-law's mom. And she was a funny one. She was. She called every day. She called my grandmother, her mother, every day to talk. And my grandmother would complain. Oh, she calls and tells me the same thing over and over again. And I have to be honest. I have too. I did too in the past, you know, when she was alive. But give anything for one of those stories right now going to try not to cry. Um, but my grandmother, as much as she complained, she missed my mother calling. And my grandmother only lived two years past my mom. And I think burying her daughter at 99, when my grandmother was 99, God bless her, she lived to 101. I think that kind of um, really hurt her because it was shortly after that started walking with a walker and I, I don't know maybe she would have died in 101 anyway but I mean burying a child is not easy my mom did it well she didn't go because my brother was born early and he was the I, uh, my sister was the first, I was the second, my brother George was the third, he was the fourth, my brother Sean, and he only lived a couple of days, and they, they buried him, and my mom was still in the hospital, so she didn't go, and actually, my mom, from what I understand, couldn't even get out of bed, like, she was devastated over it, and all my siblings were born early, except me and who had the child born early me so we all had it's my mom had no problem whatsoever getting pregnant and it's funny because her mom did like her and her siblings are spread out at least seven to eleven years apart there's three of them because my aunt was only seven when my sister was born and then my aunt had problems conceiving. I had problems. My two sisters had problems conceiving. Like, my older sister had more of a problem conceiving than, you know, took her a lot longer than me. I, like, let's see. I was married a year, and I found out I was pregnant, but lost that child at 16 weeks, day before Father's Day. Talk about, uh, I, I couldn't get out of bed for like a week. I was just devastated. And then my son was premature. Um, my ex didn't want any more. He's like, I can't go through that. I can't. And I said, well, what if you, you had a crystal ball and you had to go through what we went through to have our son, would you still do it? He said, absolutely. I said, okay, well, we've done it once. We can do it again. So my daughter, on the other hand, was born. She was due August 3rd, and she was born July 31st. They took her only because my blood pressure was 198 over 110. So, it's like, get to the hospital immediately. We're on the verge of calling an ambulance. And I was like, whoa. So, 
um, busy day today, but it's Friday. I mean, maybe some of you aren't off on the weekend. You're off during the week. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I would like a job that I worked on the weekends and off during the week, especially in the summer, because who's doing things during the week? You know, it's less crowded, I would think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Been known to be wrong. I will admit when I'm wrong. My kids are like, wow, she's admitting she's wrong. I'm like, I will always, I'll say, sorry, I was wrong. Okay, stand corrected. So, um, if you're off, have a great day. And I am back at my office. And it looks like my one boss is only here. Or maybe she's not. Because maybe they're together, husband and wife. Like I said, fa fabulous, great people. So I have to head in, but I hope everybody has a good weekend. And I'm not really complaining. I'm just, I'm looking forward to going to Hershey. My family's been driving me a little crazy. They're like, where are you? What time are you getting there? I'm, I'm working today. So my daughter and her boyfriend very generously uh, said, you know what? You're only going to be here Saturday. I'm like, well, I'm going to be there Sunday too. They're like, you know what? We would have had to pay even give us, only give us so much money for it, which is next to nothing, which is amazing. So I'm thrilled and I'm going to have a great time. Of course, I will buy them dinner because they're doing this generous thing. We get free breakfast, so. Oh, I had my egg bites along with my drink. So, I'm doing good in the eating. I had a protein bar for breakfast. Ugh. Male guy is pulling in right now. And this guy is, ugh, he's got his hair down to his butt. And he just, we constantly get the wrong male, constantly. Amazing. Like, you have one job, dude. And you're getting paid well. So. Like, it's, I don't know. Sorry if I'm being critical. Maybe he's deluxe. What is that? Deluxe. I'm saying it wrong. I can't say it right. Okay. I'm going to end this now. It's longer than I thought it would be. But since I'm back at my job, I am going to go inside finish up and I'm kind of hoping they tell me leave early you know in the summer they do that like three o'clock go home be on your way it's Friday start your weekend so say a little prayer for me then I get out early get on the road earlier when it's three hours there I'll be there six so all right this is Fable it's gonna sign off everybody have a great weekend you might get another one on my drive to Hershey.